Hello? Hello? Yeah. Okay. Um, you, earlier you mentioned that you lose some things when you have the player sexual characters. Sure. Have, uh, how much thought has been put into like, adding a toggle at the beginning of the game that can kind of determine how the characters interact with you? Like a gay toggle? Like a, <laughs> like a gay toggle, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't want to do a, a toggle like that. Um, because I think that uh, there, we have lots of content in our games that is potentially um, objectionable. And I wouldn't want to, you know, I, I wouldn't want to turn it off. We don't turn off our, our massive amounts of violence. So why would we turn off uh, homosexual content? We, it, and if, it, if it's personal to the player, like if it's a romance, I'd want to make it optional. But to say, you know, I, I just feel like even even if it wasn't a toggle as an I don't want to see gay, gay content. If it was uh, like a, you're making a char character generation and, and you had like a sexuality uh, uh, button that you pressed, and I, I, I just, part of me feels that would be really awkward and, and maybe almost uh, uh, artificial. Um, I think it's I, spoilery as well. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I just, um, would, that, would that lend more uh, ammunition to those people who say, well, I, I picked the straight option. Why am I still encountering gay content? Because they were, as far as I'm concerned, there still should be gay characters that you encounter, even if you don't intend to romance them. So, um, I don't know. Um, that, that's, a, that's a larger design question. I, I feel it, it might be kind of artificial. Um, I, there's lots of ways you can go around sort of allowing the player to access that content. And I, I think we've tried a few and, and found some success and some failures. So we're still sort of uh, exploring it. I think ultimately uh, it should be down, like when, it, when it's, again, when it's, when it's the romance is the players, it should be down to uh, um, the player sort of uh, it, there are many ways they can, a player can indicate to us that this is the kind of content they want to see, and if we, we you know, look, you know, make it subtle if we try, and, and, and uh, look for ways that, oh, that player wants that kind of content, okay, you see more, oh, they want more, okay, and, and let them push themselves in that direction. I think that would feel the most natural. Nice question. Yeah. So given the deception paradigm that exists via kind game, not only in media, but in real life as well, as, you know, cis people, pregnant pause. Um, I think it would be a lot better to have perhaps, um, instead of transgender characters, mm -hmm. maybe have some more um, non-binary options for romance. Mm -hmm. uh, for romance? Um, yeah. I don't know. Uh, you, maybe, yeah, that's a, that's a good comment. Uh, it really, ultimately, a lot of that comes down to where we spend our budget where we can afford to. If there was a way we could work that into existing romances, maybe. Um, that, that, that's worth a conversation, for sure. I, I agree. But I, I don't know how to answer that myself. Because I mean, uh, there's a lot of things about characters that uh, writing doesn't have its sole control over, so it's something that as a group we need to decide to do, because part of it is, is, uh, relates to a character's appearance in the game. Yeah. Uh, you know, like I, I would hate to write something that does, doesn't carry through to the other parts of the game that the player can see, because I feel I would think that would feel a little dishonest. So uh, yeah, but it's worth it's it's it certainly isn't something that should be dismissed out of hand, because I think that that is uh, we're, you know in the industry we seem to still be having struggles. Uh, having female characters that, you know, how we have strong female characters or have female characters at all that are representative of what, of what reality is. Um, sometimes it feels like it's almost a struggle to sort of uh, expand that conversation on things like gay characters, like, like transgender or, or uh, and then you know, the, 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 the labels don't end there, obviously, but... Uh, diversity in general. Diversity in general. It's, 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 a, it's an ongoing conversation, and I'd like to think that we can get there, you know, someday. Certainly, uh, it's going to take companies that, to individually recognize the importance of such to sort of maybe sort of underline it for others. So, yeah, yeah I agree. One more? So, what can we as fans do to help increase your work budget? <laughs> well, if you're fans, you are buying the game, mm -hmm. and uh, you are ideally talking it up to your friends, and then they buy the game, and 
I mean, there's there's a sense of um, just budget. Yeah, a lot of the budget for for the words comes from how how successful they believe they could expect the game to be. So if they were expecting that, hey, uh, we believe this title could sell 10 million copies, uh, that means we can afford to spend X much, that means we can afford, you know, it trickles down to like this, how many words we can afford this, how many hours we can afford the game to be, and therefore how complex the, the interactions can be. But I mean, how much you individually have a, have a, have a control over that? Uh, I, I, I don't know, that, that's a, there's a lot that goes into that question, I guess. A uh, um, couple of things. I mean, uh, the, a way you could influence the word budget, not, probably not so much, but the way you can influence where we spend our word budget, that's, that's a little different, right? Because, okay. you know, expressing uh, what you would like to see more of, what you consider important. I mean, uh, when, when, some of the reaction to, to DA2, that's where we thought, mm, maybe putting some of the, the so much of the, the follower budget into their, per, their three personal plots, maybe that was too much. Because we, we got some we got some re reaction and, and it was kind of hard to parse the reaction because a lot of the reaction the reaction was like uh, I didn't feel like I knew the, the follower as well as I did in DAO okay but I, I'm trying to interpret that right and it was like well why maybe why they say that is because of these these things that had changed in terms of the uh, the type of interaction so I mean the the more uh, self aware you can be in in the reaction you're giving or even if it's just I, I felt this way because well, no, very few people said I, I felt like I didn't know the characters as well in the sequel. Uh, they added because I think this and this and this, and then that was that was for me like mm, I don't know if I can agree with that, but the the feel part of it is very meaningful to me, to, because that's something that you have complete authority over. I can't contradict you know the, the well the, that obviously made you feel that, and I can sort of take the the maybe you, you were saying why you think it is. And I can sort of take that as as a, as a maybe, you know, you know, I'll listen to it. But I, I need to know the the, the what, how you felt about it, and that expressing that, in a, in a, in a, that goes to our, our last panel, you know, in a thoughtful way. If I if I come across a uh, a post by someone or an email, or, or even a, even on a, never mind our own our own forums, if I come across it elsewhere, and somebody has uh, expressed themselves uh, uh, in a in a way that is respectful. And, and intelligent and, uh, and self-aware. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter, like, uh, every now and again we'll have a post of something like that and, and someone will get jumped on, like, by other fans and it gets derailed or even locked. It doesn't mean that first post doesn't get seen and, and uh, thought of, because, I mean, we, it happens a lot on our forums. Uh, somebody will start a question, ask a question or express desire for, for gay content. And, and you know, the, those same couple of trolls or whatever will show up and say something spiteful. And of course, if that elicits a reaction and then suddenly it's an argument and the thread gets shut down. And that could really make you despair as an, oh man. Yeah, from our perspective, it's like, well, discussions like this often get closed down. Doesn't mean that they don't get looked at. That first post, I might look at it, or, or uh, uh, the, our community managers, uh, mods may look at it and say that that was a really uh, insightful post. I think it's important that the other developers see this. It's unfortunate, but they almost get looked at more because I usually get a message from our moderators who were like, okay, we need to ban all these people. And I'm like, okay, what did all these people do? And I'm like, oh, wow, that's okay. Well, this need, as opposed to a thread where it was like this thing, yes, we agree. And then it kind of like sometimes mm. goes away, but it's, it's back and forth. It's both sometimes, Yeah. but we do read it and we listen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I is that a good place for us to kind of Maybe. wrap up? I mm -hmm. mean, uh, this has been such a such an amazing experience coming the past two days. It feels like we've been here a lot longer. It feels <laughs> like it feels like summer camp, and now it's ending. Yeah. And, but but it sounds like it's not. It sounds like we're, we want to be here next year. Um, we, we love. You. And I'd just like to say as well, uh, I think I've run into so many fans who, who've come up to me over the course of the last couple of days who have said, uh, you know, uh, why did I write, could I write romance, Alistair, that too. But, but <laughs> more than that, uh, how much uh, the, are, are the games we've made have, have meant to them, how much the romances have meant to them. Uh, some, some very heartfelt uh, comments as well about uh, how uh, it, it helped validate their choice. I thought I was like, you know, like validate, uh, that's a strong word, but they, they said, yeah, 
Uh, so it's it's really meaningful for these kind of uh, opportunities to interact with you guys. And, uh, you know, I can't tell you what's coming in Inquisition yet. I, I, I It's killing me that I can't. <laughs> Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Sorry. Oh, I wish I could. Mike would kill me. He would. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I want you to know that that we're we're always trying our best. Uh, I hope I can make you cry a whole lot of tears. <laughs> and I, that's because uh, I think you're all great, and I can't think of a, a better group of fans to try to please. Totally. Please tweet at uh, Bioware and let, let us know what you want us to talk about next year. Um, if you are interested in writing and romances and all kinds of things, David has an amazing Tumblr. I think it's dgator.tumblr.com or something, yeah. something around those lines. So um, check that out. Uh, tweet at me any community concerns you have. I'm Jessica Marzen at, um, at Bioware. We, we want to talk to you more. This is an important group to us, the issues here are are talked about all the time behind closed doors and, and we hear you and you are so important to us. Thank you so much and have Thank you. have a wonderful few hours the rest of the con. <laughs> Thank you guys.